Inside of me is two wolves. The first wolf, terrified of the prospect of big Nintendo, trampling everything I know and love, as they've done or shown a tendency or propensity to do in the past, c and and Big House, not giving Project Plus the shine that it's deserved, going against a famous quote from a very wise man named Iwata about fan projects that I'm sure plenty of you have seen passed around, urging Nintendo to not take harmful action against fan projects and projects that were done out of the love of Nintendo products and Nintendo franchises and Nintendo games. Also inside of me is a wolf that is acknowledging that Panda has done something that nobody has been able to do in spite many repeated efforts for years. Blur tried and tried and tried. Tried and tried and tried, but was unable to make that headway. And this wolf inside of me, I don't know why these are wolves, it's just kind of how the saying goes. These, this other wolf inside of me deeply trusts, I would say, the good people at the esports team formerly known as Panda Global, now only known as Panda, in spite of the fact that it's still called PG Stats. What does the G stand for, if not for Global? And their Twitter account is at Panda Global. Confusing, I know. I don't even think uh, I can provide a lot of the context for the reasons that I trust Panda and the team there. There are things that I've been privy made privy to uh, uh, in terms of uh, from, from 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 the Panda folks. Some of you remember that I worked very closely with their founder, uh, Samurai Panda, aka Dr. Alan Bunny, to run the Smashers Gambit at the beginning of the year. And I build a little bit of a relationship with them before I was in talks with Golden Guardians. And everything I've ever seen from Panda and from anybody that works at Panda, which is an extensive list of people, people like turned down for Walt, right, at this point. Practical tasks, gotta shout out practical tasks. Everything I've ever seen from the Panda org, uh, everything that I've seen them do, all of the projects that they've kind of undertaken in the Smash space, have all shown an enormous and tremendous amount of care, not only to Smash Ultimate, as I would say that they are more widely and largely known as a Smash Ultimate forward organization, right? It's fair to say that, right, chat? Uh, but in spite of that, and in spite of the fact that, you know, I think Ultimate is more lucrative, certainly easier to push projects forward on, um, as I believe the community is, first of all, more naive, but also uh, it's it's the modern Nintendo game, right? It's Nintendo has, the incentives are more aligned, right? Nintendo wants to sell games and product uh, in a way that they're not, they're not going to make, Nintendo's not going to make any money selling Melee, right? So, so really Panda had no reason and has never had any real reason, uh, with their initiatives to stick their, stick their leg out for the, uh, for the Melee community. And yet every time I've seen them do so, I have been pleasantly surprised, I would say. So, yes, I have reason to believe that, uh, we're going to do some reacting, of course. First of all, first and foremost, let's, let's get certain things out of the way. First and foremost, to the Panda team, to my friends at Panda, I am... I would consider a lot of the people at Panda Friends. I feel very comfortable saying that. First of all, congratulations. This is a momentous, had to have been a momentous undertaking. I have seen what some of these deals take uh, from, a, from, a, from a timeline perspective. Um, it's difficult, right? It's it, This is a momentous undertaking for them. Congratulations. Really proud of you guys for getting this done. With that out of the way, I, you know, I would say, right, that the overwhelming sentiment from the ultimate side of things is just, hey, cool, this is dope, this is awesome. Good for us. And from the melee side of things has been like, I don't know, are we f***ed? Like, are we, how much does this f*** us? Like, does this, or is there, is there a worst case scenario? So I'm going to talk a little bit, a bit, little bit about today. I'm going to talk about the best case scenario, the worst case scenario, the concerns, and, and also spend a little bit of time looking at some of the reactions and the responses I've seen put out there. Uh, there's no info on UCF yet. No, nobody knows anything about the UCF thing yet, but, um... I don't think it's out of the question. It is too early to be saying things like, oh my god, we're gonna have to play on Frozen Stadium, UCF, uh, off, vanilla, blah, 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 blah. Side note, by the way, hey, f Frozen Stadium. I hope Nintendo brings back real Pokemon Stadium so I can infinite all you f***ing floaty players again. Just don't go in the pit. Just don't go in the pit. Why are you, why are you coming in, why are you coming into the pit trying to down smash me and then whining when I infinite you because you didn't, you didn't f win because I passed your execution test. If you're coming in my pit, that's my pit, okay? I'm the king of the pit. I'm the boss. I practice drill shotting my room. You practice see sticking down. Reggie DM to HBox about the circuit. Reggie doesn't work at Nintendo. A long time coming. Glad they included Melee. Oh. I am sure the devs pushed for this to be only Ew. Oh my god, he leaked wow. the DMs. Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Because it's like, because you're allowed to leak this because Reggie doesn't work there anymore. Okay. I don't know, I'll take it back. Big up, big ups. Big ups to Reggie for saying that. I'm sure the devs push the one to be ultimate. This is actually a point I want to get to. Just to take a just to take a second here to 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 kind of temper people's expectations a little bit. This is actually something I wanna I wanna talk about. Because that is actually a good point. It's not just the devs. Think about it from Panda's perspective and from and yeah, and 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 and, and yeah, uh, like 
Panda is in touch with the community, okay? I know I'm kind of hopping around on topics here. There is no... Panda had to have known that if they included Melee, if they pushed to include Melee, right? If Panda pushed to include Melee, they had to have known that the average Melee player's response would be, oh, dude, I, this, what's, what's the worst case scenario, right? It's gloom and doom. They had to have known this. Panda... I mean, they're they're very in touch with the community. Again, they've got Walt works there, Epangu works there, obviously IBW and Plop, right? Practical tasks. They're very there. There are people there who are uh, that 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 do a lot at at it, you know within the organization that I would say are are more melee people than ultimate people. People like practical tasks, right? They had to have known that melee players would give pushback and would have trepidation, and in spite of that, they pushed for melee to be included. Panda had to have known. That if they if they botched this, if Nintendo ran it with a shitty rule set or what have you, or if they if they didn't do right by the community, they had to have known that the melee community would 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 basically come out and say, We'd rather you just didn't get involved at all. They had to have known this, and in spite of that, they pushed for melee's inclusion. So the fact that melee's included is from that perspective alone, I think potentially a good sign. I, I, I just feel like if you're if you're pushing this thing, man. If you're pushing this thing, you gotta know that if you fuck it up even the slightest, the melee community is gonna be angry. But they had to have known that. They had to have known melee players are tough to please. And they literally, they literally could have, you know, they could have just said, look, this is an ultimate thing only. Leave melee out of it. Let melee do their own thing. They had to have known that was, and that was the easier route. Because getting it right by the melee community's eyes is very difficult. They had to have known this. So, three things I want to dig into that, in my opinion, not, not enough people are talking about. Three things that I think people are missing out on. One, this, North America. Two, this, short series of events. There are very few details in this tweet. Uh, they, they, they did not, le you know, they didn't reveal too many details, but they did reveal short series of events. They did reveal that. Three, Cash prizes. This is actually a funny one. I've seen so many takes where people of people um, being like, oh, the prize is going to be, you know, uh, an amiibo and uh, your supply of Doritos. Shout out to Zane. And it's like, yeah, but it literally says cash prizes. And I, I, I think they definitely put this in intentionally. These are, these are three details that I think are very important. So what does North America mean? First of all, North America, I think, directly addresses the thing Ninja Boy was talking about. I don't think the Smash Brothers devs are necessarily behind this. This sounds like a Nintendo of America initiative, right? This is a Nintendo of America, Nintendo versus initiative. And yeah, they, they did mention there's a little bit like a press release or whatever. There actually is a little bit of an article with a quote from Bill and stuff like that about, uh, you know, Canada and I think Mexico, right, are, are potentially uh, in, involved. This is something, I mean, just from this saying North America, I think that answers questions about are the actual developers of the game, uh, the actual Smash Brothers core team, is this them launching this thing, pushing this thing forward, or is this more of a marketing effort from the like product marketing arm? And I assume it's the latter. Um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. The wording of this, this takes me to the second thing that I noticed about this tweet, short series of events. You'll notice they included the word, a word that is spread around, uh, you know, the, the Ludwig fan base in particular, um, a lot, right? That they, that they felt the need, they felt the need to include this word in this tweet, which to me was an interesting decision. Almost feels like they're tempering expectations here or managing expectations. It's a short series of events, which to me, well, this, first of all, this could be one or two things, right? This could be them working with, existing Nintendo partnered events or what have you, or existing majors, um, turning them, you know, grouping them into some sort of circuit format and then maybe capping it off with a finals or something like that, right? That That's the first possibility. The second possibility is they're a la the Smash World Tour actually going to run new events, uh, new qualifying events that that are going to, you know, in, in, in essence, supersede, uh, not supersede, is supersede even the word I'm looking for? What does supersede mean? Yeah, I mean, it's possible they're partnering with existing events. It's possible they're launching new events. But they specifically mentioned that it's a short series of events, which makes which makes me feel like they're kind of saying, okay, look, there's only going to be a couple of these things. I mean, some of the details in this thing make me feel like they're hinting towards, you know, this being the first iteration of something and being able to iterate on it in the future. Let's take a look now. Let's take a look before we get into some of the, the, the takes that are spreading around.
Uh, but here's the, um, you know, there's this kind of article uh, with, with some quotes, you know. Uh, the circuit will include online qualifying rounds for Ultimate as well as in-person qualifiers for both Super Smash Ultimate and Melee. Once large-scale events return, the winners of the virtual in-person qualifying rounds will then move on to compete in the Grand Finals for the championship. Players from Canada and Mexico will also be able to enter and compete. So, you know, there is some international presence. Here's Bill, Senior Director of Product Marketing at Nintendo of America. The partnership with Panda Global is the next step. Okay, so partnership with Panda Global is the next step in Nintendo's efforts to create a more consistent, fun, and welcoming competitive environment for our players and fans said bill we're proud to stand with an organization like panda to celebrate and support the ever-growing competitive super smash bros community and create a space where all players can test and hone their competitive skills one of our key missions at panda global is to serve various grassroots communities in new and exciting ways says dr alan bunny uh but part of Nintendo, we're giving our competitors the chance to compete in officially like in smash brothers circuit for the first time but yeah this kind of you know answers some questions about the format again only looks like only in-person qualifiers from melee so unfortunately no official slippy recognition so far i also don't think i mean based on fizzy zone response to this thing i don't think fizzy was necessarily like brought on again i don't think anybody was really kind of um brought into the know on this thing this was very very hush hush until the announcement itself all right so best cases and worst cases let's say the best case scenario right the best case scenario Again, I think the way that Panda's looking at this, the way I want to, you know, look at it is that this is probably kind of the, you know, first iteration of something that could develop. I'm going to look at Fizzy's sort of wish list and suggestions. He wanted them as suggestions, which I think is a very fair way to, to sort of look at this. Uh, and then I'm going to look at Blur's Medium article. And, you know, Blur had a list of concerns. Um, and we can definitely look at the concerns uh, in another light, which is going to be the worst case scenario and the world where this just completely fucks us. So Fizzy basically said, here's the thing from Nintendo, right? Here's the thing is that we've never gotten a public statement from Nintendo about specifically the ways that they've kind of faltered in the community's eyes in the past. They've, they're, they're kind of ignoring the problem with this one. And it is natural, I think, I, I mean, I, and I completely agree, it is natural that the Melee community is going to be looking at this kind of announcement with some trepidation and some, you know, hesitation. Fizzy says, okay, suggestions. A promise to be less aggressive about shutting down community efforts. That would be huge. That would be fucking huge. I think a big question for a lot of Melee players is the fact that, like, the biggest developments we've had in the past couple of years have been fan projects, fan mods, uh, like 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 Slippy. I mean, I I think Melee dies in the pandemic. Melee dies in 2020 in a world without Slippy. That that's just the case. That's just the case. Um, it opened up so many avenues. It opened up avenues for players like Hungry Box to be competing and losing to Crudo literally tonight. Acknowledgement of the community's work to modernize the game. This is similar to to one, but basically a basically an olive branch. If Nintendo just came in and said, look, look, we acknowledge that. The well, what I just said, the biggest developments in the scene have been projects that the community has put forth. But yes, I would love, I would love at least this, at least three. Three feels easy, man. Three feels easy. It feels like they could do three, man. I, I, I don't know if anybody at Nintendo has the power to do one or two. I feel like three is doable, man. Because like, you know, you can do one and two with three. And like, like imagine like a little video, you know, okay, you know, Evo did that thank you melee video and it was kind of corny and I think a lot of people kind of didn't appreciate it because it kind of came at a sore time for the community. Like, okay, we're, you're, you're really just kicking us out with a, with a bow on top, which is kind of like, it's kind of like, yeah, you know what, <laughs> fuck me then, right? You know, imagine they put out a little video that was like, you know, welcome back melee, blah, 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 you know, this, that, and the other. And there was like some little, like, imagine they show some footage from like, Zane winning Summit 10 or something. Like, you know what I mean? Some little subtle thing like that. Some little subtle thing. That would be huge. That would be my fucking dream come true, for sure. It's time to really dig into the real meat and potatoes. First, Blur starts this article by summarizing, basically, you know, most of the things that, that we already know. Doesn't go into the details of kind of Nintendo's past with the community, but, um, well, here's, here's your favorite phrase. Everyone's favorite phrase today, cautiously optimistic. I have no idea if this will work, but it ever would. We need open, openness and transparency going forward. I, I agree. I agree. I think that I think that would be big. And I think that's basically, that kind of echoes what Fizzy is asking for, right? This fear that it all just fucking crumbles in, in a heartbeat is scary. Even if this succeeds, even if this goes really well in the first year, it's still scary. Because, like, can Nintendo pull the rug out under us? And this is something Blur does address. So, obviously, the, the, the first and foremost questions are like, yeah, what's the deal with the rule set? Is it going to be UCF? I think that's the big question. But UCF, I think, is a big deal for us, right? 
How's the broadcast? Slippy mirroring is something that has made the melee viewing experience a lot better, you know, for the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, what's to do with slippy mirroring? How, how does this affect sponsors? Is Nintendo even going to allow uh, those sponsors to kind of get involved? Which is totally possible. It's, it's, it's possible that, that that ends up really sucking on that front and that all of the money comes from Nintendo. And, and, and once they pull out or decide they don't want to do this anymore, they f*** us over. That's, that's possible. That, is a, that would be a worst case scenario. Will Nintendo be advertising on the event broadcast? Is anyone being compensated for that? This is big, right? They've done a lot of adverti advertising in the past. Uh, to, to the tune of not much financial support. And I, I think that's part of the reason Panda is really putting forth that cash prizes. You know, they're really putting that front and center. Uh, how does Nintendo's involvement affect the in-person tournament experience? I mean, this is, yeah. Uh, okay, this is fair. This is fair. Right. Can, will there be on, will there be restrictions on artist alleys? No more booba in artist alleys, Sag. That's the big loss here. The big loss is that I can't walk into the artist alley and spend 80 bucks on scantily clad Genshin Impact characters. Four, how does Nintendo's involvement affect the circuit's format? Matter of fact, what is the circuit's format? Yeah, very good questions. I mean, uh, again, Panda uh, explicitly said small series or short, short series of events. Uh, will traditional grassroots events be... This is my big question is, are they partnering with existing tournament organizers or are they doing all of it you know from from scratch essentially and i i really do hope it's the former this is all to say that i really do hope juggle guy eats i really hope that our tos who have propped the scene up for years and years and years and years and years don't get shafted in all of this that would be my one of my top fears alongside uh, alongside the worst case scenario regarding like you know mods and stuff like that right Format, and uh, I guess it's format, but yeah, the question about, you know, yeah, the worldwide scene. I mean, one of the biggest, if you if you guys follow a lot of Japanese Smash community members like I do, uh, th this is a big question in the, in the Japanese scene right now. You know, Amsa tweeting about, okay, this is a North American thing. What does this mean for us? Uh, you know, Melee and I was saying the ultimate side too, right? Like, people like Zachary probably going like, okay, I mean, we get 2,000 entrants for EVO Japan, and we win... A controller so like do we get do we you're gonna throw us a bone like you know what i mean so that obviously that's a big question not even for melee that's a big question for ultimate for sure five how is nintendo supporting the growth of this product other than giving it a license totally i think everyone's looking for it's just it's what is the prize breakdown like how much how much prize money and also where is the prize money coming from absolutely that's going to be big for people absolutely absolutely that's huge and six, what is the long-term vision of this project? Panda Global no longer, right, this is something that I brought up. Yeah, if, you know, even even if this takes off, and even if it's fucking fantastic, if in two years, you know, if, it, if, if somebody decides, hey, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't think this is a good idea anymore, are we fucked? Right? Can we just, can we just pretend it never happened and go, ba go back to the ways things were, or, or whatever? Is that, is that, um, is that a concern? Can Nintendo cut Panda Global out? Absolutely. I, I will say these are the things to look out for right now. Um, and for the people watching this on YouTube who might be wondering, like, why are Melee people not just jumping on this and being super duper happy and just being like, oh, f*** yeah, dude, Melee blah 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 circuit. Uh, I would say these are the reasons pretty, pretty well. I will add that the implications about mods are important, and I will say that, I will say that if anything... Uh, the, 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 the big concern for me, even on top of that, is for the existing TOs in the scene, uh, how much of a bone are they being thrown here? Because um, the last thing I want is Juggle Guy uh, getting f***ed again. Absolutely, I think Juggle Guy and Fizzy are, are my two... Uh, they're, they're my two kind of people that I have in my head of... If Juggle Guy's happy, and if Fizzy's happy, then I'm happy. That's kind of where I'm at. If Juggle Guy's upset and Fizzy's upset, then I'm upset. <laughs>